Well, if you're thinking of hitting up the movies this weekend, tops at the box office is Cocaine Bear, a movie that is roughly based off of true events of a bear that got into a stash of cocaine. It took place in the Tennessee wilderness. But, you know, Colorado has wilderness and bears and a certain amount of legalized drugs. So let's bring in Joey Livingston with Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Joey, we've had not one, but multiple weed bears in Colorado. Yeah, well, in uh, 2019, Colorado Parks and Wildlife started a bear tracking and reporting system across the state. So we keep track of uh, of different bear activities, where they're at, what they're getting into. And we have had a few reports of bears um, getting into, uh, we had a bear get into a freezer that had some marijuana edibles and also had a bear that uh, um, took someone's backpack that had some marijuana in there as well. Um, but, you know, once bears... Uh, learn that freezers or backpacks might have food, you know, they're going to go after those sources. Now, you don't necessarily follow those bears to see how they would react. Any guesses, uh, you know, if if a bear got into a, a couple of, you know, brownies or things like that? Well, it would have, you know, some sort of effect, but for the overall health of the animal, it's not something that would be overly concerning for us. And, you know, in some cases, they could get into large amounts of those substances, but the uh, opportunities for that to happen are pretty slim. Not likely to probably terrorize a town after probably just take a nap and then wake up even more hungry. Uh, now, you guys have had some other bear uh, run-ins uh, involving alcohol. Tell me about that. Yeah, so you know, bears have, uh, you know, sort of similar taste buds to humans, things that humans like. Um, bears will usually like as well. And, uh, you know, once they, you know, we've had bears that get into coolers that have beer and will chew on some beer cans trying to drink this, the, uh, um, drink the beer out of there, you know, also soda cans as well, or high calorie sugary drinks. Um, so that's really what the bears are looking for is those high calorie food sources. I mean, we've had, you know, bears that have taken entire coolers full of beer, um, chewed into those cans and, busted them everywhere and trying to drink uh, drink the beer. And probably stumbled away. So let's use this as a teachable moment. Um, a lot of the times bears are looking at these food sources before hibernation. What is the reminder? What's the go home message for everybody out there when it comes to, to bears here in Colorado? Yeah, the bottom line is, you know, humans provided these sources for the bears. And it usually comes down to the bears becoming habituated to human provided food sources. And so they learn a cooler could have potentially have food in there. Um, they're going to go check out a cooler to see what's in there. And they're very curious animals as well. So, you know, if they think something could possibly be food, they're going to try to at least taste it and see um, if they get any substance sustenance from that. Um, also, things like um, air fresheners, deodorants, things like that can also attract bears if they have a food type scent. And so you want to make sure that you're not providing those food sources or scent attractants for bears, keeping that stuff secured as much as possible so the bears aren't coming around people looking for food and potentially getting into other substances as well. All right. Well, let's keep those substances to just beer and not something like a cocaine bear. We don't need one of those rock, running around Rocky Mountain National Park. Joey Livingston from Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you very much.